Hello, hello, friends. Hello. A welcome in knitting in my wishes. But before we start to chat about knitting, I'm showing you my beautiful, beautiful birdies here. Uh, these are the babies which grew already. And now we have another five sitting here in the nest. Hello and welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, I hope you're well and uh, I'm welcoming you on my little spot in internet. Uh, my name is Anna. The podcast is Knitting in Mauritius. I have uh, changed my name on Instagram also to Knitting in Mauritius uh, as I wanted to have the same name. Um, I like the logo uh, Anna made with a smile. Uh, it will be my logo. It will be my uh, um, call because I uh, try to smile and I try to always make a good and positive atmosphere. And uh, when you, when I'm meeting, I always feel like um, smiling. I'm always very happy person than and when I'm holding the yarn, when I'm holding my needles. A calm person and a positive person. So, Anna Mitrius is my is still my my name somehow, but uh, I changed my um, Instagram knitting in Mauritius. Same like my podcast. It is more easy to find me on these platforms. Um, I'm very happy to be with you here today. It took uh, maybe three weeks that I didn't record, but I wanted to spend some time with my kids. They were having still holidays. They now returned to school. Um, after the big break, they started new scholastic years and they are big kids already having uh, new uniforms and uh, they went very proudly to school. Um, yeah, as you saw in the beginning of the uh, video, I am also very proud uh, extra uh, mummy <laughs> in our garden, I mean in my, my uh, house. We uh, again got uh, eggs from the lovebirds, parrots, and they uh, made babies. So we got four babies from the first batch. Now they are five in the nest and they this time much more colorful. The first batch was one greenish orangey and the three other ones were grayish bluish. And these ones which are now in the nest, they are much stronger in colors. Um, my friend will take one. And the rest, I think, they will stay with us because I'm very hard uh, with uh, separating myself from my family, from my animals, from my needs, <laughs> knitting garments, knitted garments. Um, yeah, so I think they will stay or when some friends will like to have it, then I will give it away. But then. So I'm very happy to, that uh, this is... Uh, so positive news um, and we'd like to start now to talk about my uh, knitting content. Um, I would uh, introduce to you today my new uh, pattern which will I, I will I will which I will <laughs> publish on Wednesday after this uh, podcast is uh, sent. Um, First, I'm recording because for people who are following me, maybe you will be interested to buy the pattern and then you will have already some explanations how the pattern was needed, with which yarn, and it is more easy to, for you to choose uh, if you buy the pattern or if you use the, will use the same yarn which I was using or uh, then you maybe want to choose another yarn. The pattern is this what I'm wearing, the cardigan which I'm wearing today. I will just stand up and tell you about this. Um, I have my printed uh, pattern, printed version, and the name is uh, Side to Side number one. Why number one? Because I have 
I think two more in um, progress, slow progress, but it will come one day. Uh, I have more ideas to do a bit different, similar way, but different pattern, different uh, stitch and different um, shapes also. So, but similar way, similar progress, process, sorry, it's something fall down. Um, so, and, uh, and, and with different yarns, or, uh, uh, definitely. So, I would like to introduce to you this beautiful cardigan, side to side number one. Uh, on Instagram, I put already some pictures, but I would like to uh, tell you that the pattern will come on Wednesday, so you can be just ready. Uh, I knitted this uh, garment, I will stand up for a second. So, it is open cardigan longer on the back there is a little like a fringe and here less um i needed this uh, garment um with the cardiff brush mary cardiff, cardiff brush mary yarn so it is 100 percent mongolian uh, yarn it's an iron size um I will show you a few pieces of the yarn because I have only this few pieces left. So this is left from my cardigan, from my size. And uh, it is very fluffy and it is, uh, they say it's iron, but I will, I don't know, I will say it's a, can run as the, as a big ticket decay. Um, that's the uh, it, the band Cardiff brush Mary. I was using the color this this color like a, a powder rose, old rose. Uh, in my opinion, a little 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 too purpley for me. In my opinion because I don't like purple, but um, now I think I'm changing a bit uh, of my uh, feeling. Uh, this color name was Muji. Muji, M-U-J-I, Muji. The color was 106. Um, I was using for my size, for the second size uh, of the pattern, I was using 20 of 45 meters uh, balls. So the balls are 45 meters only, small balls, and um, of 25 grams, which I found uh, it is a bit annoying, such a short, um, short string because you have to attach all the time and when you do a hat or small cowl you will not need so much yarn and you will not need to attach so many strings but uh, for a cardigan uh, it is a bit annoying so i found a website and i bought i this i showed you already a few few podcasts before but I would like to mention, I found a website where they're selling a, uh, the same yarn in corn. The same yarn in corn, in, I bought in another color. And this is um, color 102, uh, it's silver. But it was uh, by skein, by, by ball, was on discount. And uh, the Corn, I got it also on a uh, lower price than the normal uh, balls. And uh, I'm very happy. I don't know exactly how many meters it is here. I think it's uh, equivalent to 20 balls. So it's about 900 meters. But um, definitely it will be enough for me for another cardigan. Uh, as I realize that this cardigan is quite uh, spacey uh, and I will be able to need something smaller for me, more closer to the body 
and I would definitely be have enough yarn when I use this cone. So one day I will uh, need something with this yarn, not the same cardigan, but something different. Um, so the silver will wait for a little bit, but I wanted to show you that it's the possibility to buy not in a balls of 25 grams, but uh, you can buy in a, in a cone. This cardigan is knitted uh, in different way than I never saw by another designers. Uh, I, okay, I didn't need all kind of designers uh, patterns, uh, but I did it by scrolling, by Ravelry and so on, I never saw it. Um, or I saw something similar with seams, but this cardigan has no seaming. Um, so you're knitting this cardigan from one side to another side. And there is no seaming on the back, there is no seaming on the sleeves. The connection is uh, just beautifully done. Uh, so the um, <clears throat> stocking it, it's not going this way, but it's going this way. Um, yes, it is cardigan with quite long sleeves. I wanted to have them like this. I wanted to use all the 20 balls of uh, the cashmere because I didn't want to have one ball left and then I will not know what to do with it. I wanted to make this size according to, to, to the, to the meter, um, meters I have and I will be using because it's amazing. Um, it is, this one, it is quite genuine size for uh, size um, L even. Uh, so there are three sizes on the pattern, XSS, M and L, and XL and XXL. Uh, three patterns, uh, three sizes, but I call my patterns a bit of sort of recipes. Uh, I want to give always in my um, patterns help for you how you can adjust this pattern to your own needs. And all the informations are written in red. So whenever you see a red knot on my pattern, there is a suggestion for another way doing something what I do. I found this, it's very helpful. Um, I never found this on another patterns. I know people talk about uh, adjustment. I talk about, uh, they talk about uh, changing this, changing that on the pattern and or resizing or making uh, stitches bigger and smaller the gauge. Uh, and uh, people going to Ravelry and uh, checking the projects of another people and reading a lot of comments and stuff. I must say I'm very, very sorry, but I don't use Ravelry for project uh, describing. I don't use Ravelry. I have no time for this. And uh, maybe that's why also people uh, don't know much about my patterns uh, because they have nowhere to read about this. I mean, I'm uh, showing my patterns on this channel here, or I'm showing them on Instagram, uh, but uh, as a picture, but um, I'm, there is no uh, many of uh, projects. I see some people who are needing my patterns, they're putting uh, project um, informations, but uh, I myself, I don't do this. So, um, and I don't do on another people's designs also. So I don't have the time and I don't. I have my own book and I have all my own information for futures. And whenever there is any question I can answer or help. Uh, when you see something I'm needing on uh, Instagram or here, and I didn't mention, let's say, needle size or or something else, you can please message me or ask me. I have all informations, but I, I don't really have time to sit and, uh, you, you know, I, no, not maybe not the time. I don't like to sit in front of the computer and write many things. I already work for the company and I'm working on a computer and um, I have the patterns 
uh, to write and this takes quite time. As you know, I'm not great in English, so I need always tra translation and somebody to help me to translate. So that's why I'm skipping this rivalry, rivalry project information. But my pattern, now come back to my pattern. My pattern is needed uh, from my cardigan from side to side. You're starting with a cuff. You can have open cuff like this, or you can uh, knit it in a round and just keep it keep it closed. Or you can keep it open and later on you can just um, make a space for a thumb that the sleeve is longer and covering your your uh, hand. Uh, the sleeves are quite generous, long. Uh, you have some increases here. Um, you have some panels, side panels on the cardigan. And the side panels, you can, uh, I'm suggesting some another type of panels uh, in a pattern. So you can also uh, do something else what you want. Um, after knitting the body part, you adding the, you picking stitches up to here, up to where is the body then. You picking the stitches and you making the uh, bottom bend. Ooh, I don't have bottom stun, no horse for buttons, but you can do this. Uh, but uh, I think I never really close my cardigans. That when I wear cardigan, I, I keep it open. When I uh, have a pullover, of course, I have to have it over my head and on my body covering me. Cardigan, I like to have open and I like to wear some shawl for it. So um, I think it's uh, okay without any buttons, this thing. Uh, you have some shoulders on the back. You have done, uh, when you're done with this, you coming down and you're having this picking up stitches around uh, the lower part of the body of the cardigan. Here I did the ruffle and from here to here there is no ruffle. I did a special and I, I wrote, I described this uh, bind off. Uh, technique. Uh, this is a stockinette uh, here everywhere stitch and stockinette stitch is normally curving a bit and this is the method I just develop to keep it uh, straight to, be, to keep it down uh, and not rolling up the edge um, so, um, there are some different things in this, uh, um, cardigan, very long sleeves, open cuff when you want, uh, picking up the, uh, bottom band here or, or neckline, how you wish to say, uh, then you're picking the lower part of the cardigan and you can make ruffle on it. There's many many uh, suggestions what to do differently on this cardigan you can uh, just skip the uh, knit stitches account and that's it and the rest you can do on your own you uh, I, I needed it with um, um, this uh, uh, cashmere uh, mongolian cashmere they say it's Iran, but it's a, uh, yeah, maybe it's Iran, wait, wait. Um, it's a br specially brushed, so it's very fluffy. And I uh, needed with six millimeters needles, it's a 10 uh, US size needles. Um, all is described, all techniques which I use here, like uh, I use German short words, uh, are described in this uh, pattern. I described how to do, uh, I did here um, brioche and flat, but you can do something else. I described also how to do brioche and flat uh, and my uh, uh, bind off. I will maybe do small little tutorial 
and I will place on this uh, channel because I don't have another one and um, I will maybe show you how to do this bind off it's take you have to take in consideration this bind off takes uh, much more yarn than uh, normal bind off or any another bind off which I know uh, but it's very cute I will come back closer to you in my opinion it's very cute uh, when you're picking stitches here you can try to align the stitches with the stitches of the body that it's sort of um, going the same directions but um, that uh, there is maybe you know you some people who doesn't know how to how to knit they would think it's a design of a of a pattern when you do it uh, this way what else I can say about this cardigan? I will in, I will put some pictures here running now, and um, the, in the, the meantime, and I will be very happy when you will visit my Ravel page and uh, yeah, maybe buy it. And you can meet oh, yes, um, okay. I will put down pictures and you can listen to me. You can uh, need this uh, cardigan. I will say also in uh, Camarosa Snifnook. Uh, it's very similar yarn uh, and very similar texture also. Or uh, what I will feel it's beautiful to use it, it is the Nochiden and all the Manchelopi yarn. They, because of the thickness of the yarn and fluffiness of the yarns, I think they will be very well uh, uh, going with this pattern. This is a very warm pullover cardigan. Uh, when I would like to close, I have a found in my in my box with jewelry. I have a, um, a brush, and when I would like to close, I can just fix it some brush or something like this here. But I normally don't do. I just keep open my cardigans just to be. Um, different and show my beautiful another clothes. Ah, today I'm wearing also earrings. They're nothing really big special. My friend opened here a shop and um, uh, she got some fashion jewelry. So I was thinking with this old pinks and old old pink color uh, and um, it will go well together. So can I invite you to uh, see and follow me on Instagram and see my pattern on Ravelry from Wednesday on and good luck with knitting. Now I would like to talk to you about um, that some podcasters are funny, some podcasters are very informative, some post podcasters are uh, very creative uh, in using different yarns and some podcasters it's a special lady to me um, is uh, giving me a lot of good feelings for designing something when i watch some podcasters i watch for the yarn i watch for the fun that they are funny I watch uh, and they they showing the country side and or the sh talking about the sheep or or like Andrea from uh, the Ranits, uh, she talks uh, she give answers to questions uh, that I learn a lot also but um, with this lady she got special way to say things <laughs> okay she is a German and she speaks only in German. Her podcast is only in German. I do speak German so I can follow her. Uh, her name is uh, Sylvia and her podcast is uh, Magische Maschen von und mit Sylvia. I will write here. She is a lady uh, who is uh, already retired and she's knitting. But the way she is uh, talking to to, to, to us gives me feel I can do it you know I can really do it 
I can design something. I can do something for myself. I can, uh, there is no problem with mistakes. Okay, Stephen West also is very funny and nicely uh, giving you the uh, energy to create something on your own. And he's giving you a lot of tutorials and a lot of information. But this lady, I don't know, it's just uh, maybe because she is sort of like my grandma and um, I have a special connection, a special feeling, but she is um, talking a lot about how you can adjust without stressing, without big counting, without big um, being scared that you will do something wrong. Um, and uh, yes, and she, thanks to her, sometimes I have a feeling to design something new, to make something new. Um, I love, 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 love to need uh, patterns from another designers. I love it. I love to follow uh, instructions. I love to uh, buy special yarn for it or choose in my stash uh, yarn but um, sometimes I like to make something on my own and prove to myself that uh, yes it's not bad <laughs> what I did so for today is my cardigan but I would like to tell you there is um Okay, Sylvia in her podcast always is talking about some books and uh, how books can help you to, let's say, change something in adjust uh, uh, somebody's pattern, um, which is that which I like to give you in my patterns, these ideas, how you can adjust, how you can fix. So I don't call in my uh, pattern, you will not see the information, it's a... It's a pattern, but I write it's a recipe. <laughs> recipe. It's a re well written. I think it's well written pattern, but um, it's a recipe because you have so many another ideas going on in this um, written pattern. Uh, Sylvia is showing a lot of books, um, like all another podcasters but Sylvia is giving me this little feel aha I can do it and now we have um, two another podcasters I would like to say last podcast I was mentioning the um, podcast knitting knit my way knit my way and there is another podcast and now it's Knitting a Good Yarn where Carmen and Jackie are uh, having, I just saw there is a um, new episode on YouTube. They both with some another people, which they don't mention names, I think, they both started starting a call, knitting, knit all together um, something and it's about um, a pullover I will add here the picture of the pullover which uh, I think I learned from Air from the company which is producing uh, nutrition was knitting and they want to use the part or the whole pullover or the design from the pullover they want to use the part and encourage you that you will need something with it. So you can need uh, socks, you can need uh, mittens, you can uh, need a hat with this uh, part of design. Um, the design is charted, it's free of charge, uh, so you can use it. And uh, Yes, this two now giving me this two podcasters and plus Sylvia giving me a lot of inspiration. Um, so I would like to tell you that you can do it too. 
I mean, please join this uh, call. And the call will be the hashtag I will put here, but the call uh, hashtag will be inspired by Ellen Kal. So, um, and uh, please join this. It's uh, coming, uh, it's starting on the 1st of September. There will be special uh, um, uh, cast on together, I think. And it will go to the 31st of January. But in the meantime, I'm already having my own plans and stuff and stuff. And I, um, I am planning to use for this project uh, two different yarns. I will uh, use uh, one color of Nutrigen, which I will add picture here. And one another color, which is an amazing sort of pink kish color. Um, from Manchelopi, from Wool Dreamers. This I will mix together and I have already idea and I will cast on a shawl, which will be a stick shawl. And I think um, because I will not use only this um, free of charge um, charted design. I will use my own design in the meantime also. I will mix and match. I think it will be uh, paid for pattern one day um, somehow or maybe in November already uh, because I have a dream, I have an idea, I have an inspiration and I love the yarns. And I think these two yarns, the Nutrigen uh, yarn and the Manchelopi, you can combine very well together. I put already this picture, which I just showed you, I put already on uh, Instagram. I'm waiting for the 1st of September and then I will uh, start my pullover. So, you know, when you have books at home, all kind of books with stitches with all kind of stitches or with um, color charts you can start the scale to do too or you can you don't need to do the curl or you can just do something for yourself uh, why not to do something very basic straightforward uh, a rectangle shawl or small curl knit in the round. Something which you will discover in yourself some artistic parts. <laughs> so this, that's why also I love to design my own things. I feel very good in designing, uh, when I'm designing, I feel um, creative, I feel good, I feel happy, and I feel I'm smiling, and mm, I love it, I love it. So, just wanted to tell you that there is many ways of knitting. You can knit on the stockinette stitch or garter stitch for many years, like one podcaster was saying yesterday, she was maybe knitting for 10 years on a straight, rectangles and squares and some basic things and suddenly after 10 years she made it first pullover so there is always a way to improve and there is always a way to be more creative and not be scared because um, nothing is wrong with making something wrong <laughs> especially in knitting um, Yes, so this is what I would like to tell you that uh, I have uh, many yarns here and I would like to introduce some to you, but I will do it in the next podcast because this will be too long now and um, because um, I would uh, like to tell you a bit more about ideas what you can match and mix together and how it will look and 
uh, because I needed also some things and I uh, ah, I don't do gate okay, swatches. This is my problem. <laughs> uh, but I do need some hats, let's say, some pullovers and I have idea and I'm just continuing doing it and uh, and I'm using my very sometimes strange yarns um, which I would like to introduce to you because I also realize a lot of people um, always speak about uh, on the YouTube here, uh, always speak about the same yarns and about the same companies or the same uh, tires. Um, I would like to promote a little bit bit different things, which I think it's also beautiful. Uh, I'm not paid for any of this advertisement and I'm not paid for any of, um, I don't know, uh, I'm not gifted with any of yarn, uh, but I just love knitting and I would like to just share my love to it and share my love to all this squishiness, which is next to me. So this is the finished garment and uh, my beautiful pattern um, and I would like to show you what I need in the meantime I needed uh, after the uh, uh, being ready with the idea that I I'm ready to publish the pattern I needed to start uh, to need something with very quick um, um, how you call this gratification <laughs> something which will go very fast will be needed quickly and um, after two three four days or four days I can wear it I started yesterday uh, this and I'm amazed about this how this is coming out this is the Chaika it is from Midori Hiroshi uh, from the same designer Dan uh, made the famous Ron Nicolas and this chica I wanted to knit since many 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 months um, but uh, it was also on my um, uh, rubbery queue for patterns which I would like to buy one day and about I don't know Five months ago, I won it, uh, one pattern from Midori, and I was very happy I could choose it what I wanted, and I chose this Chaika. So now it's time to knit it, and I think I chose the amazing colors, and uh, the yarn um, is, to me, something different <laughs> i would say it was lying for a while in my cupboards and um, i like to feel when it's in the bowl but i know how hard it is to knit with a cotton how hard it is to knit with a, a plant uh, fibers and this one is having 40 no, I don't see, 43%, 45% uh, cotton, organic cotton, and 35% hemp. And this is from wool and the gun. And the color, uh, timber wolf, I will show you here. I will add also on the timber wall. No, it is not focusing. Um, it's 100 gram balls of 174 meters, 190 yards. And the another one is in this uh, peachy pinky. Peachy pinky is different pinky because this is more purpley pinky and this is peachy pinky. Uh, color is um, this thickness. And this yarn is in this uh, color is um, Camero Camero Rose Camero Rose. So it's a combination of these two, 
was on my shelf for many, many, many months, maybe more than one and a half year. And um, finally, as you people in the world, <laughs> in the big world, you have uh, summertime and you needing now with uh, plant fibers, uh, the tanks and vests and all kind of uh, summerly um, garments. So I was thinking, ah, oh, and my summer is coming now and I will have only this big, chunky, squishy yarn, yarn and garments with me and nothing done in the plant fiber. Uh, so I jumped over my feelings and I took this out because I'm in love with the combination of the colors. I took this out and I said, this will be a chaika. And it is coming out so beautifully. It is coming so beautiful. The, the, the color, the colors, they matching each other so well. Um, so you're knitting this uh, top sweater from top down. You're making this a two by two a rib. You're shaping it and then you're adding uh, the body. Uh, with many German shorters. I'm using always German shorters. I don't use the wrap and turn or any another types. I don't even know if there must be another types uh, of shorters, but I'm not using them. I'm using German shorters. It's beautiful and it's uh, really, uh, you don't see where I uh, turn the work. Um, so this is the sleeve bag. It's coming amazingly. And here is the separation for the sleeves. I'm working on one need circular needle so i'm working one part then the second part and i'm not putting my um works on uh, waste yarn so this would be a great thing and i think i will finish in two days um and i will be happy happy with it it's different feel it's more roughy it's more yeah it's like a rope i mean <laughs> of course it's hemmed in and it's like a completely something different than i always i'm using i love animal based yarns i love i love the squishiness i love that uh, the the fact that it's not changing shape or when you for example need this pull over you can sort of uh, try to felt it uh, to shrink it um, animal plant yarn will rather grow but you can wash it in a washing machine and and which I will not do but it's okay I know you can do uh, so I will have uh, in the next podcast be beautiful, beautiful new top and I'm so happy. I can't wait anymore for it. So I will be really hard working on it. Uh, I'm also working on the uh, writing, finishing writing the pattern for uh, the shawl I showed you um, two podcasts ago. And because so many people ask me for the pattern, uh, it will be faster because you don't need to make sizes. Um, including sizes in the pattern so it will be fast i think in uh, two three weeks you will have a uh, uh, three weeks you will have uh, the pattern for the wrap from me uh, so this is amazing piece which i'm working on i'm working on a few more things uh, but i will not bother you now um i will show you what i started but it will be not a big big progress because it's just more um that I have the yarn and I have to use it. Um, I bought long, long time ago, very long time ago, maybe, I don't know, two and a half years ago, um, from Lion Brand Yarns, uh, Homespun Tick and Tick um, Yarn. It is, what it is? 
acrylic 88%, acrylic and 12% polyamide. And I, I am doing, I started, it's just small piece, I started to do a blanket with it. I have 10 balls of it, it's lying on my shelf and um, I don't like acrylic, but it will be a blanket. It will be a blanket which I most probably will cover from the bottom part, from one side, with uh, some fabric. And I will be using to go on a beach and instead of sort of buying a blanket, I will make a blanket for myself. It is sort of uh, changing color yarn, striping yarn. Um, it's fun, as you can see here, blue, white and so on. I have 10 of them, so I will be, it, the, the, the blanket will be huge. Uh, I just started it and I don't know if I will be rushing with this project. So this is something which I wanted to tell you. Um, but I can, I think I will keep the, ah, yes, one more progress. I One more progress I wanted to, to tell you is this, is this um, self-drafted um, pullover, which is uh, still in a big, big work. But you can see how beautiful it is coming out. It will be bigger, loser on me. I think maybe with the time my mom will uh, get it from me. Uh, I'm striping it uh, one by one. Each stripe I'm changing the, the color. And as you can see, there is a lot of uh, yarn hanging. I'm cutting it. Um, not, I could do the weaves. Steven Weaven <laughs> technique, but I don't do. I uh, put always my um, sleeves on another stitches, on, uh, on another needles, and I put glue tack on it. I, no, I, I don't know. I have so many um, um, stoppers for the uh, needles. I don't use them, I put glue tack finish. And um, yeah, I didn't proceed with the sleeves for a while as I um, I was uh, doing something else um, and I needed this uh, Chagos uh, cable. I have three cables in the Chagu, little Chagos, blue and red, small, uh, uh, packets. There are three cables included and the sizes of the needles and I don't know where are this uh, two another cables are. Somewhere in my uh, 100 projects, uh, working projects, uh, I put some sleeves on hold and they are there and waiting for me to come back for them. So what I did, I did finish to need um, Something which I'm, some sleeve which I'm designing also a pullover with uh, chink fibers yarn. I will not show you this time because I run off of yarn and um, I'm waiting for the one more ball. And I will add it, then I will write the pattern, and then I will show you and publish the pattern. So this won't be published. This is just a self self-made pullover. And now as I finish the sleeves uh, on this pattern which I'm designing, um, I put it, this um, needle on the sleeve. I will add the stitches and I will work now on this step by step and slowly. Uh, I found out that I need more of these cables and I need more of these uh, uh, small needles. So I ordered through uh, Tripians uh, in England, through the shop Tripians, which is run by Millie. I ordered, I love to order, I love to order there. I ordered uh, the cables 
the length I need, a few of them, and then I added fixed circular shorties, uh, 9 and 12 inches. They are on the way and I'm very, very happy. There will be no more, like you call this, uh, sleeve island. Uh, there will be no more sleeve problems because I will switch, go very fast through them when I will have so many cables with me and not somewhere in uh, my work in progress. So this was work, this is bind off and um, it's changing the color from the lighter to the bit darker and it's work one by one strap of uh, belted baby suri alpaca, brush suri alpaca from uh, chink fibers, from chink fibers, and I will have many left. I think I will be needing another one, maybe for my sister or for my friend for Christmas. Something I will do with it. I love uh, this baby alpaca from chink fibers. It's fluffier than another one from another companies. Uh, I like the colors they do. I have some club, uh, club colors, uh, limited colors, and I ordered also a advent calendar. Not in baby story, but I ordered advent calendar from uh, Chink Fibers. I think it would be nice. I know they um, uh, collaborate with uh, Andrea Mori from the Ranits and I know she designed something uh, with fate of the colors. So I'm interested, but I maybe have idea what to do on my own. So it depends what Andrea designed. Uh, maybe I will do on my own design on this Chink Fibers advent calendar, starting from December. Um, yeah, so this was my, this is still my work in progress. I think until the next uh, podcast, I won't be finished because in the next podcast, I want to show you all the yarns um, and talk about the yarns. Um, but I will be finished with my um, Chaika from uh, Midori Hiroshi, definitely, because I want to wear it. <laughs> Summer is coming here and um, again, I mean, okay, in our winter is 21 degree Celsius or 22 or 25, so it's not so cold. Summer is coming back, will be very hot soon. Um, as you see, I was recording today from another place, which uh, I think maybe I will keep it here, but it's sort of darkish. I, I will see how this come on the computer. Um, and I would like to thank you very much for watching. So this was a, a podcast more to show you my new pattern. And uh, another one will come soon to talk about um, um, yarns. All kind of uh, ideas for yarns and products I needed with them also. Um, so it will come soon. Then will come my new designs. I'm designing also a, a bit. Uh, I'm designing also a um, vest with um, spin cycles yarn, and I'm coming to the end of this pattern too. I have enough yarn, so I think the next week I will be done. Um, the problem is always the sizes um, to, I'm, I'm not having any tech editor or I'm not selling enough to even hire one. So I'm really need to always think a lot about um, how to size the pattern. Um, but when somebody would like to test it, um, for the chink fibers, you will need uh, three to four brushed threes skins and two decay dashing decay yarns pullover. So when you want to test, please let me know. And when you would like to test the vest in um, spin cycles yarn, uh, you will 
need like four to five maximum for for me for my size it would be four four skeins of spin circulian uh yes so hopefully you somebody will come back to me and will say yes i want to test send me some pictures send me some information i will do it i will do it very quickly when when you will be interested i will send you already description maybe next week and we can just knit together and chat to each other what you think um i could have someone with size s small one and some xl maybe when possible i will be very i will be very honor it i will feel honor when you will um like to try to test it actually I will not call this test, test need. I would like to say be friend, supportive to your friend, <laughs> to your YouTube friend. Ah, people, thank you so much. I wish you um, a beautiful uh, end of summer. I wish you uh, to, to the kids, I wish a uh, beautiful end of holidays. Our kids already started. Um, I wish some of you in Australia, hello, hello, uh, beautiful beginning of the summer and um, yeah, enjoy life, smile, be happy and uh, knit, design, be not scared to make mistakes. Thank you very much. One more look for on my cardigan. This is my side to side cardigan. Oh, this look like I will have a very big one. I will show you like this. <laughs> it's very, very girly. It's very cozy. It's very, um, I love it. I really love it. I hope you will love it too. Thank you for watching. See you very soon. Bye.